In this section, we will go over the steps to perform an online timing test with the CT7000S3's online timing option. The online timing option enables the CT7000S3 to conduct timing tests while the circuit breaker is still in service. Three provided AC clamp-on current sensors are used to monitor the circuit breaker bushing current for phases A, B, and C. The AC current sensors are connected to the circuit breaker bushing CT's secondary winding as shown in this illustration. A provided DC clamp-on current sensor is used to monitor the open or closed coil current. The DC current sensor is connected to the open coil as shown in this illustration. Lastly, the CT7000S3's external trigger input is connected across the open coil terminals as shown here. Once we have made all the necessary connections, we can start performing an online timing test from the CT7000S3. To start performing an online timing test, we will select Time Breaker by pressing the 1 key. Now we will press the 2 key to select Time Live Contacts. On this screen, we will select the timing window. For this example, we will use a 1 second timing window by pressing the 1 key. On this screen, we will select the type of test to be performed. In this case, we will press 1 to select an open test. Now, press the Start key to start performing the test. Now, manually open the breaker either locally or remotely. Once testing is finished, we will be returned to the main menu. Once we've performed a test, we can print the test results to the unit's built-in thermal printer. To print the test results, select Get Results by pressing the 2 key. We are now presented with multiple options for printing the test results. We're going to select Plot Full Chart by pressing the 2 key. Now press the 1 key to select Thermal Printer. And now the test results are going to be printed on the unit's thermal printer. Once printing is completed, you will be returned to the main menu. Next, we will take a closer look at the test results. Here we have a sample printout of an open online test shot. The CT7000S3's frequency setting is shown in the header. The frequency value is used to convert the contact time from milliseconds to cycles. Here we can see the date and time the test was performed. This header section shows relevant test information for the test record. This information is entered by the user before performing the test. The test type is shown in this section. In this case, we can see that the results are from a live open test. The contact times are shown here in milliseconds. The equivalent times in cycles are shown in the cycle column. This section shows the V1 nominal in minimum voltages. The nominal voltage is the DC supply voltage with no load, and the minimum voltage is the DC supply voltage under load. The V2 and V3 voltages are not available in this example. The measured open coil current is shown here. For this example, the initiate current was 11 amps. Now let's take a look at the test results graph. Here we can see the three contact channels labeled as CT1, CT2, and CT3. Below the contact channels is the initiate current graph. Lastly, we can see the DC supplies voltage graph labeled as V1.